Hey, YouTube. Silver hair stacker here. Well, I was at the rummage sale today, and I bought a pair of candlesticks. Now, why am I buying candlesticks? Am I going to have a romantic evening with my wife? Well, probably, but we probably won't use the uh, these candlesticks. These were almost black when I got them from Tarnish. And you kind of want to look for that when you're picking up silver at a garage sale or an estate sale or a rummage sale in this case. But right about there on the bottom of it, it says sterling. But it also says weighted. So, hmm. How much sterling silver is there in a weighted candlestick? Well, you probably really don't know until you tear it apart. Um, here's an example of a silver piece that it looks to, I mean, it, the top portion is not weighted. I'm sure there's a steel rod that goes down through it. And the weighting on this one, you can hear it rattling around in there. But this piece is so top heavy and you can just tell this piece has a greater percentage of silver in it than these do and how do i know that well on a piece like this you can tell it's bent it's been knocked around it's got dents in it it's not worth selling as a piece of uh, dining room stuff anymore. So it's time to peel the uh, peel the outside off, and this is the sterling silver part. <laughs> so you can kind of see there's not much difference there. Um, let me get my scale here. So. Now this was a matching pair. This one, this one looked exactly like this one before I tore this one apart. I don't want to show the whole process of tearing it apart in this video, but here we go. Weighing it now, and it says 346 grams. Now that would be, <coughs> pardon me, that would be quite a bit of silver. Uh, at 20... $26 an ounce for pure silver, which these aren't pure, they're sterling. How do you know they're sterling? It's written, sterling on the bottom. Anyway, um, where was I? Anyway, yeah, that's a lot of silver. Let's see, there's 31.1 grams in a... Um, in an ounce, a, a troy ounce of silver... So this would be uh, about 10 ounces. Yeah, about 10 ounces. If it were all silver, it ain't. So let's see what the difference is here. This was 346 grams. And you tear off all the uh, silver portion from the outside of the weighting. And this piece comes in at 25.2 grams. So, yeah, that's quite a bit of difference, huh? You went from, oh, I got a pair of candlesticks. They weigh, you know, they weigh 10 ounces each. So that's a ton of money, man. What's, what's 20 ounces times 26 bucks? I'm rich. Well, no, you're not because, yeah, there's less than an ounce. In fact, there's only about a th two thirds of an ounce of silver for one candlestick here. So you're like, oh man. But anyway, these are beautiful at one time, but they're just too beat up to use anymore. So, how do you get the outside of the silver off? It's not real fun, but it's worth it. I mean, what did I get for these? Believe it or not, there's a free table at our local rummage sale. And these are just sitting out there. 
and it said free take them <laughs> okay i'll take them for free so if both these have the exact same amount of silver which they should that's a uh, 50 grams of uh sterling silver so that'd be about 40 uh, my math is too slow about 42 grams of silver in these two pieces combined so that's well over an ounce. So uh, these two pieces together weigh or are worth about $30, $35 in silver content. So is it worth stripping off the outside? I don't know, you tell me. I don't know how hard you like to work, but it's not hard to get it off. You just grab a corner and start peeling and cutting and stuff. And you can tell that's kind of a, a resin filler stuff and there's two wires in the scent you can see where the wires are the bottom of one wire is there and the bottom of another wire is there and they go up through the piece to the bottom of this top cup but you can see if I can get this top cup off it's weighted throughout the whole piece there's that resiny concrete type stuff all through the whole piece yeah see a chunk of it just fell off i'm making a mess out of my nice clean tablecloth here but yeah they do that so that your candle will stay upright even if you bump it but yeah we're just gonna get a little more into this i'm not gonna Spend the whole video tearing this apart you got to be careful not to cut yourself when you're doing this because it's not too hard to get off you know so but then you, anyway you can sell your scrap silver stuff like this on ebay and, and get pretty close to spot price for it then you got to pay the ebay fees and whatnot but yeah, it's worth peeling off the silver off of beat up old sterling. So don't walk by the sterling pieces. I know you see them all the time at estate sales and garage sales and whatnot. And nearly all the time you turn them over and it does not say sterling anywhere on it. This piece has it written on the base, right? If I can find it right about here, Sterling. Yep. All right. So we're now we know all these are Sterling silver, or I wouldn't have picked them up to bring them home. But um, yeah, Sterling is Sterling, and no matter even if you have to do a little work to peel it out. And yeah, you're destroying the look of the silver, but it was already destroyed. But let me warn you, though, the vast majority of silver candlesticks and silver plates and silver bowls and silver um, trays and everything else you see at garage sales and estate sales, they're plated. They're just base metal, often steel that has a has a plating of silver on it. Now that's silver right there, that portion. So look at this dried up old concrete clay looking stuff. There's a bit more here to get off, but now you can see the two wires that were holding the piece together. So anyway, that's all I got. I just wanted to show you all that, hey, even if something says sterling weighted, it's still got sterling silver. You know, this was more than an ounce of sterling silver and to me it's worth taking the time to um, to strip the outside of, of the uh, silver off of the weighting and then just resell the scrap silver so that's all i got for now just wanted to give a little demonstration about weighted sterling pieces so good luck god bless bye